Hi guys, today I'm going to take you through how I made my flux capacitor. Um, first of all, I'm going to take you through the inside, everything that's inside the flux capacitor. So I'll just get rid of these. I only need one of them. So here we have the, sol as it's called in the films, the solenoids. Um, for this here, I used a it's US armoured. 15 amp electrical plug. I'll show you that in there itself. Oops, there is it. In there was the actual yellow plug. This here is a red rubber spark plug cover. And then what I used for the actual yeah, the cable was just a yellow network cable, Ethernet cable. And as you can see, just cut it into the lengths I needed it. And then for the tubes that that sits on top of the the lights, the flux capacitor lights that flash, that is a plastic test tube. And what I did is I drilled a with a two millimeter drill bit, drilled a hole into the end, and on these armoured plugs that comes with a rubber bung that sits in there, and I drilled the hole in through the rubber bung as well, and I also have a two millimeter thick copper wire. All these things that I'm rhyming off, I bought them all off eBay. So what I did is I got a bit of hot glue, hot glued the bit of hot glue, hot glued the test tube onto the armoured plug, and then drilled the hole and threaded. And that just sits in there basically, just sits, and as you can see, sits pops out the back. So then, as you can, as it's you've just seen it fell off, but a bit of hot glue on top, and then just hot glue that into place. So when this sits inside the actual casing, underneath, obviously that's where the lights shine through, and to stop the lights from just shining out the side, so you get the full effect of the lights, I actually got just a tic tac box, and I cut it into the shape and length I needed and that just sits nicely underneath there so it, when that's against the base it stops all the, the light from escaping from the sides and so the light shines straight up and I painted the sides as well to block out so the light doesn't go out the sides so that was that's what I used for the insides and obviously you just repeat this three times and there you have it the insides of your flux capacitor